What's going on guys? Krusty K's here from the Gold Boys Network coming to the MLB Slate Preview for July 2nd. Uh, we're back. Had to take a couple days off. Uh, had a lot of stuff going on lately. But uh, we're here. We're ready to get going. As always, you can get all these odds at, on FanDuel Sportsbook. But let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the slate. So the first one on our slate is the Boston Red Sox take on Miami Marlins. This is Cutter Crawford versus Valente Beloso. I mean, this one here, I really like the Red Sox, particularly in the first five. I'm um, sitting back Cutter, back in a pitch well against the Marlins team that's not hitting righties right now. So it's a really good spot for him to pitch well. Ultimately, you get a team that doesn't necessarily have the best at bats. Uh, we've seen it time and time again. You know, uh, a lot of quick early contact, so he should be able to pitch deep into this one. Should really keep this team in check. Um, Beloso made his LB debut, uh, his first start, so like six days ago. And I mean, he looked pretty good against the Royals. Um, this is a tough matchup, though. You get Boston here, who's top 10 versus righties over the last two weeks, last 30 days. So I really think he struggles in this matchup. Like I said, really tough, tall task here going against this Boston team. So give me the Red Sox in the first five. Our next one, the Chicago White Sox taking on the Cleveland Guardians. Chris Flexen versus Carlos Carrasco. Uh, I mean, you couldn't pay me to take the White Sox here. I like the Guardians team total over. Uh, solely because I just don't trust Carrasco enough to take the Guardians' money line. I do think they win this game, but I just feel like it's a safer option to roll with the Guardians' team total. Um, I expect Flexing to get touched up. You get a Cleveland team who, as we all know, have uh, been really good this season. Uh, one of the best teams, you know, arguably the best team in baseball. And um, they have a ton of lefties who just absolutely mash right-handed pitching. J-Ram, Naylor, you know, we've seen it time and time again. Stephen Kwan. I really like this team to just get a ton of runs. And, I mean, if you don't know by now, uh, the Guardians have like three or four guys in their lineup who just absolutely own the White Sox. So look for the Guardians to put up a ton of runs here. I think Flexing gets touched up. Wouldn't be surprised if Carrasco gets touched up a bit too, but I'm just going to roll the Guardians team total over. Our next one, the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates. Kyle Gibson versus Mitch Keller. Uh, interesting matchup here. I mean, because... The Cardinals are hitting righties really well over the last two weeks, but Keller's been really good. Uh, he is at home. I do like Keller, but I'm not sure that I'm willing to back the um, Pirates here. So what I ultimately settled on was the first five under. Obviously, Kyle Gibson, a bit scary. We all know he gives a lot of contact. But this Pirates team is just not hitting right now. I think he could take advantage of that. I um, think he can get a lot of ground balls, a lot of weak contact, and get through the first five relatively quick. And like I said, Mitch Keller, he's just been really good. So... I like him to hold this Cardinals team in check. First five under. I think we likely see 0-0 zero, zero here. Um, my best look. Our next one, New York Mets taking on the Washington Nationals. Sean Manaya versus DJ Hers. So, I mean, DJ Hers, I mean, this guy's been really good. We've seen it um, pitch against the Padres in his last start. Obviously, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I know a lot of people expect him to pitch really well there, and I mean, he got touched up a bit, but it's the Padres, so I kind of like take it with a grain of salt. They're a team that only has a back, but on paper, they are good against lefties, so not totally surprised there. Um, for me in this one, though, I do like the Nationals. I think I think it's a it's a tough spot because the Mets are crushing lefties as of late, uh, but when they go on the road, I just feel like their bats are a bit more inconsistent, so I'm going to roll with the Nationals here, and a lot of like I said, it has to do with them being on the road, and then Sean Mania, I just... I can't trust this guy personally. I think the Nationals, if they're going to get somebody, this is the guy. So give me the Nationals as a home dog here. Our next one, the Cincinnati Reds taking on the New York Yankees. Graham Ashcraft versus Luis Gill. I'm all over the Yankees here. I mean, my line, it's juice minus 200. So throw in a parlay if you want. Um, also couldn't talk anybody off the Gill player performance double with like 6Ks and a win. Absolutely love it. Um, I think this is a great spot for Gill to really just dominate a lineup that, in my opinion, is inferior. So Red, Reds on the road have been one of the highest K teams in all baseball. Expect Gill strikeouts to be in play. Like I said, expect him to pitch just really well here. Um, this is a team that struggled against the fastball for a majority of the season. Uh, Gill's fastball has a lot of late life on it, so it's extremely tough to hit. I really think that you know he kind of puts these boys in a blunder here. Wait, before we get back to the picks, I wanted to thank you all for watching. Woo! Friends don't let friends watch videos without hitting the like button. So go ahead and press the thumbs up button and like the video. If you're new here and not subscribed, 
you should go ahead and do so because we're dropping new content each and every day on the Gold Boys Network. We strive to cover every sport and give out picks and analysis and valuable information for free on the Gold Boys Network. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell so you can get notified when we drop something new. I'm Brad Thomas. Let's get back to the picks. Our next one, the Houston Astros taking on the Toronto Blue Jays. Spencer Argetti versus Jose Barrios. I'm all over Toronto in my line here. I love Barrios. I've talked about this time and time again. One of my favorite pitchers in all baseball. Uh, this guy just takes the ball every five days and goes and does his job. Uh, so you get a, a Houston team here. I mean, obviously line can be a bit scary, but I just don't like them away from home, truthfully, away from Minute Maid. So give me the Toronto. Give me Jose Barrios to pitch deep in this game. Houston team who's seeing like the third fewest pitches per plate appearance. Um, likely see Barrios go six, possibly seven innings here in my opinion. And it should be more than enough to get his team the win. Aragetti, guy who struggled with his command, coming off a huge performance against the Rockies. Now you get a Toronto team that's done a really good job of not expanding the zone. I just think this is a brutal matchup for him. Likely see him out of this one before five innings, in my opinion. Our next one, the San Francisco Giants taking on the Atlanta Braves. This is Hayden Birdsong versus Ronaldo Lopez. So Ronaldo, been outstanding this season. I mean, I'm going to the Braves here. Uh, I like Hayden Birdsong, Hayden Burns, Bird Song. oh boy, a lot. Um, <laughs> but I just think this is a really tough spot. Um, you see this Braves team all the time. They face these young guys and a lot of people expect them to pitch well and they kind of get tagged. So Birdsong, his biggest issue is command. Um, I don't see that being an issue in this matchup per se because the Braves are really aggressive at the plate. Uh, don't walk a ton, so it definitely kind of plays into Birdsong's favor here. But I just think in terms of hard contact, he had quite a bit against the Cubs. And that's a team that just really wasn't hitting. Now you get a Braves team who's kind of starting to find it a bit, kind of starting to find that rhythm. Um, they did look absolutely terrible against the, I believe it was the Pirates the other day. But um, at home, with Ronaldo on the bump, I really think the Braves the bats going here. So give me the Braves on the money line. Our next one, the Detroit Tigers taking on the Minnesota Twins. Tariq Skubal versus Simeon Woods Richardson. So, I mean, this Twins team, man, uh, they're one of the lowest K teams in all baseball now. Uh, if you've been paying attention, uh, they have like the, one of the highest zone contact rates, one of the lowest K percents. Uh, they're just putting the ball in play. They're not expanding the zone. They're doing a really good job. And I mean, truthfully, Scoobles a guy who obviously I would just blind, blindly look at strikeouts, but here I'm a little reluctant to. Uh, so for me in this one, I'm gonna go with the Tigers in the first five solely because, I mean, you see the price of this game. The Tigers minus 115 on the money line. I know they're on the road, but Tariq Scoobles versus Simeon Woods Richardson, you're gonna tell me this is basically a pick em? Not in my world. Uh, Tariq Scoobles, you know, is light years ahead of Simeon Woods Richardson, even though this Tigers lineup is not great. Uh, Tigers in the first five, we're going to take them on the money line. Hopefully they get us a run, but I mean, I, I, I can't ignore this price for Tariq Google. Our next one, the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Chicago Cubs, Michael Mercado versus Hayden Wisniewski. So this is a couple guys who've kind of been thrust in the rotation due to injuries. Um, Wisniewski looked really good against the Giants in his last start. Uh, I like the Cubs here. I, I think this Philadelphia team, they're just reeling right now, man. No Harper, no Schwarber. Uh, you know, there's missing too many pieces. So I like the Cubs take advantage of that. I, I mean, I think it's a pretty low scoring game because both offenses kind of stink. But uh, I like Wisniewski. Uh, got a really good sweeper and he uses it a ton, like 4% of the time. And I think that this Phillies team, super aggressive at the plate. Uh, the guys they've been playing and the guys they're kind of filling in are very aggressive at the plate. So really just like him to pitch well. I think the Cubs get the win here. Likely a low-scoring game. Our next one, the San Diego Padres taking on the Texas Rangers. Dylan Cease versus Nathan Evaldi. Uh, I'm all over the nerfy in this one. No runs in the first thing. Dylan Cease, we all know, one of my favorite guys the back. He's been a little rough this this uh, past, like, four or five starts, though. Definitely hasn't looked like the Cease we saw at the start of the season. So I'm a bit concerned there. Um, in, the, in the game, if you're looking for a side, I do like the Rangers. But Evaldi, uh, he has frustrated me so many times this season, I can't do it. So, like I said, I'm just going to go with the no runs in the first inning. Trust these guys to get us the six outs we need. We can get a cash. Um, in terms of Ks, don't love either guy, truthfully. It's a pretty tough matchup for, on both sides. I uh, probably like Cease a little bit more, but it ain't much. Uh, probably nothing for me in terms of a, a prop here.
Our next one, Tampa Bay Rays taking on the Kansas City Royals. This is Zach Littell versus Brady Singer. Uh, I'm going with the, the uh, Rays in the first five. So we've talked about this a few times. This uh, Royals team, one of the worst teams hitting in the first five in all baseball, has not changed all season. It's actually remarkable how bad they are in the first five. So give me Littell to pitch well here. Hopefully get his club, you know, keep keep the Royals in check. Hopefully his club can get him a run or two. But the beautiful thing here is they are the dogs. We can get the Tampa Bay Rays at plus a half in the first five. So we're going to go there. I uh, really like both guys to pitch well, truthfully. I think this game likely is pretty low scoring, but I like the Rays in the first five simply because this Royals team is just not hitting early. Hey guys, I just want to give a quick reminder that new users can bet $5 at FanDuel on any of the bets in this video and win $150 in bonus bets if the bet wins. Now let's get back to the bets. Our next one, the Milwaukee Brewers take on the Colorado Rockies. Dallas Keuchel versus Ryan Feltner. Uh, this is a pretty interesting one. So you get Keuchel at Coors, totals 11 and a half. Um, I wish the Rockies weren't so bad. But uh, for me here, I like the Brewers team total over. I'm going to stay off the full game over, even though I do think it hits. Like I said, this Rockies team, they're just so bad. Like, you look at it, I mean, they're, they're like historically bad. And so I just can't, I can't bring myself to back them as much as I want to just take the full game over. Um, but I'm going to isolate to the Brewers. Ryan Feller's a guy who's just got an absolute tag, especially at home. I really think this Brewers team does some damage. Uh, they're heating up as of late. WRC plus over 100 versus righties. Uh, I really like them to just go to work here. Our next one, the Angels taking on the Athletics. Jose Soriano versus Mitch Spence. Uh, I'm on the Angels here. I like their lineup. Uh, they've been hitting a bit better as of late. We've seen it. WRC plus around 100. And Soriano is a guy who's got really nasty stuff. Uh, I think he could really overmatch this uh, Oakland team who leads the league in whiff rate, uh, one of the lowest chase contact rates, one of the lowest zone contact rates. So it's a great spot for Soriano, in my opinion, to really just, you know, overmatch a lineup. Um, Spence, he hasn't been bad. I, I do think that he pitched relatively well here too. This game's kind of gross. But ultimately, I like the Angels to get the win here on the road. Our next one, the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Seattle Mariners. Grayson Rodriguez versus George Kirby. Uh, I'm all over the under in this game. So it's a scary it's a scary thought because obviously the Orioles, as we all know, one of the best hitting teams in all baseball. Uh, when they go away from from their home, though, I, I don't love it. They've been pretty inconsistent on the road. So it's a terrifying, terrifying idea. But I'm going to roll with the under here. I think this thing's low scoring. Like both guys, the pitch really well. I think Grayson has his way against the Seattle lineup. Um, ultimately, like I said, I see this game like a 2-1 final score. So uh, we'll see a pitcher's duel here. I think these bats do struggle, and uh, we're going to hold our breath the whole time. The last one on our slate, the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the Dodgers. This is Ryan Nelson versus Bobby Miller. Uh, this is a tricky one for me because Ryan Nelson's been like, I don't want to say he's been good, but he's looked a lot better. Bobby Miller's been getting tagged by everybody. Uh, throws near 100 miles an hour, but when it's straight, uh, you're not going to miss many bats. So Dimebacks, I mean, it's a team I don't love the back, but that's where I'm going here. I'm going to go with the Dimebacks on the money line uh, solely for the value, truthfully. I just don't see how you can make Bobby Miller a favorite over anybody um, just with how bad he's been, even the Dodgers at home, truthfully. So give me the Dimebacks on the money line. Like I said, Ryan Nelson, not a guy I love to back, but I just have to for the value here. I think this Dimebacks team can do some damage. They're a really high contact team. We've seen that. And against a guy who is not missing many bats, I really think that they get some runs here. And we just need Nelson to, you know, somewhat hold together. Um, that does clear our slate, though. If you guys do me a favor, drop a like, drop a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys are playing. I always appreciate them. I always read them. Um, before I hop off, though, let me give you my three best bets. So number one, we are going to roll with... All right, my number one best bet is the Detroit Tigers, first five on the money line. My number two, we're going to roll with the Cubs money line. And number three, and honestly, my, my favorite, is the Diamondbacks money line. Um, so as always, you can get all of my official plays at goldboys.com. If you have a gambling problem, don't want to hire a gambler. Thank you, guys.